explore that behavior in the context of. So for example, if it were driving and you were to go, oh, I'd like to explore that in that in time, through time malarkey. It would just be an exploration in that. I'm not saying you'll get any resolution in it, but just to have like something to hold and then some way to spatially explore it. Yeah. To look like your dog. <laughs> How you put that on Facebook? <laughs> oh, it's so cute. <laughs> All good? Right then, who wants to come up here for a reasonably rapid ish demonstration of exploring something in the context of meta programs, plural? And then you can go off and explore some stuff and work out some things and shift so was yours interesting enough to explore yeah. would you like to go on then. come on and come stand up would you please write your behavior on there and it can be a code word for it. it's not important we know The noise char char characteristics garage people mechanics make when you walk in with something, they go <laughs> leave. Right, what meta program are you interested in? Um, sort for good, sort for bad. Okay, can you write that down on two of those? So sort for bad on one and sort for good on another. Thank you. Ooh, ooh. You should anchor them in that when they do it and make them really physically feel it. Ooh, that was the noise my dad made just before they died. Ooh. Funny enough, he was a plumber. He used to cheat people out of money. Right. What you're going to do, what we're going to do, is imagine like a, you know, like a, like a timeline. Mm -hmm. Going to have that at one end, that at the other end, pop that in somewhere around the middle. Is it far enough away? Could have a little bit more. Not too much. You don't want to be able to cover it in one single step. So th there's, there's something useful about having as kind of as much space as you can practically get. Because we're doing, you know, if you could cover it like that, there's not a lot of differentiation relative in your body to that. So we've got this. Now, for you, are you clear what this behaviour service means? Yes. Good. Is it in a specific context? Yes. Good. Because that's what you really do want. Because service could mean anything. It, it could mean, you know, as soon as your bloke comes in at night, having his tea ready, cleaning his shoes, cleaning his car from, cleaning the house before you do any, because you, that's your job. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Right. So be specific. If I was working with Claire to do this, you know, like as in more coachy, I'd want to know a lot more about that. But it's not relevant for this, it's too detailed. Says who? Me. Now, I'm gonna, as you're gonna, when you're this part, shite, I'll give you the instructions in a minute. I've picked, because I wanted to, another meta program, which is sort for self and sort for other. That's my choice, it's not Claire's. So I want to pick one of them as well. Yes. So I'd like you to do, okay, it's stand on service mm -hmm. in your own good time, your own good way. And just get a sense of how this happens, where this happens, who it's with. Maybe he's remembering the last couple of really poignant examples of service and the context you're interested in. And then, would, uh, so th this is you being you, okay? So you've got this concept of sort for bad, sort for good. So you could be doing service yeah. and 
my guess is the results would get worse and worse and worse for you. Mm-hmm. Or it could be for other people. I don't know how you're <coughs> categorising that. Of course, you could be doing service where you know it gets better and better and better. Uh-huh. It's still the same service, just different perceptions. So, which way would you like to explore this first? To explore sort for bad, sort for good, in the context of service. This okay. One. So, if you kind of creep forward at your own pace. Just notice and how doing the same thing, you could perceive it worse and worse, and it might be the consequences, or it could be the same thing but just having different perceptions. Just you know, like war's good for some people, it's bad for others. It's still war. Like that whole banking crisis, it's good for some people. They're still making more for they're buying countries now. Not good for others. So it's your own sense of what what it means for something to be bad or how it means what it means for something to be good or how that I just want you to get a sense of that as you explore to the edges of your comfort zone so of course you can take any amount of time you want keep your eyes open, closed and start to kind of get a real deep felt sense of what this means and how it could come about for anything to be like really really bad in the context of service You're pretty much close to as bad as it can get, yeah. It's and what? Quite uncomfortable, actually. It's uncomfortable. And that sense of what you're feeling, cold and comfort. Where do you feel that in your body? Yeah. There. Yeah. Okay, lovely. Okay. Got a little bit of a toe raise as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, would you like to explore the other way? Yes, please. What do you- <laughs> Yes, please. <laughs> you must stay on the sword for bad. It's good for your comic soul. Okay, so back mm-hmm. to this kind of status quo, if you like. Balanced or equilibrium of service. So just getting a sense in whatever way that makes sense to you. Of how you can get an appreciation of this becomes good to better from what it just was. I don't know if that's having different perceptions of the same service thing, or it's all right, come in. Just anchoring you to good. It's all right, she's your friend. Just perceptions of the same sort of thing that's good, or in fact doing something slightly different where you get better, you feel better. I don't know. Just relating this physical movement to more good. Have you ever heard that expression, this is so good I could shit? The first time I heard this, <laughs> I was taken the back. <laughs> this is so good, it's like you can't take it, it's so good. It's too good, but not yet, because you're not right at it. So I don't know what you can become aware of, perceive, that changes or keeps service the same, just so that the experience <clears throat> of what it is, is this good. Mm. Mm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so can I invite you to go back to the how we started? So that's an exploration of of bad and good. So this is the parts I've been so further and so for self. So in terms of service, right at that far extreme, you're doing this just for you, whatever service means, and it is just for you, or you're sorting for you. Right. And at the other end, Mm -hmm. whatever anyone says, says you will do, because you're just totally sorting for someone else. Okay. That's the doormat. This is the tyrant. Mm -hmm. I'd just like you to explore those in your own way. So more and more from your status quo as you're sorting for what? Oh, I've got them the wrong way around. This is more tyrannical. This is you sorting for you. Just you. Screw everyone else, but not quite. You're right. 
they're wrong. All heal Princess Claire. Because <laughs> you're sorting for yourself, and that's right, you're still doing service. I mean, think of the Queen. She does a great service being the Queen. Yes, Queen Claire, Regent Claire, Emperor Claire. Ooh. Claire, rule of the known universe. Doing service all for everyone. Get a sense of what that's like. That's just for you. Sorting exactly for yourself. It's all about you. You're the important one here. Just you. God, Claire. Looking down on all those peons and peasants beneath you. <laughs> Worshipping at your toenails. <laughs> bringing you bars of chocolate and milk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's that like? Good. In one way, yeah. Yeah, well that's right, it is good in one way. It's just everything's right for you. Yeah, yeah. nice and easy. Mm, nice and easy. Any body mm. sensations here? That you're aware Butterflies. of? Butterflies. Butterflies. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's good to know. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't want to stay there actually. Please move, it's, it's, you don't have to, sorry. Okay, are you okay to explore this way? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is more about what other people are requesting of this service that you offer and how you offer it. Notice all the little smiles on people's faces as they start to get more of what they want. And you're still getting some service, you're doing what you want too, it's good. Imagine some scenarios, I mean the service may stay the same, it's just how you feel about it. That's it. More and more requests, you've got to do them all. Loads. Yes. Yes. Being aware of what you feel. It's still service, but it's done much more to other people's satisfaction. You have less and less of a choice in here. Just do it. And you don't need to enjoy it. You might, you might not. The odd person wipes their foot on you. That's all right. You're still offering service. What? Get your foot over there, you fucking doormat. Do as you're told. <laughs> That's right. Laugh at it. Take it. Take it like a man, a woman, a doormat. Just do it, because you're told. Do it, yeah, do it, do it. Like yeah, it. fuck that. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, so just have a little shake. Hmm. By the way, that's content. Okay, I'm using content to provoke a response, which is what I'm interested in. So, what I'd like you to do now, because you can choose, because it's you, you might want to explore the sort of tangents of these in any way that makes sense to you. And you might not want to, but you might. I don't know. Only you will know. So this is kind of, you know, this is you're more sorting more for yourself, doing more of what you want to do, mm -hmm. the kind of things that, and actually doing it this way is pleasurable. Mm -hmm. This is your perception. Doing more of what you want to do, pleasure. It's good, this, and it feels good. So you're continuing to you might feel really, really good. You're feeling really good and there's some balance. You know, the accents on doing what you want to do, just like a football manager that's been poached from another club. The other club wanted them to join, but you do it on your terms. Doing it on more of your terms, feeling very good. Less of your terms, but still, a, still more of your terms than anything else. And feeling really good. Ooh, okay. So now you're feeling really good, still offering service. But you're doing it in such a way that another person's to know. Very honest. So it's really a... The accent is mm -hmm. slightly more on your terms. Mm -hmm. Slightly more, and mm -hmm. it this is good. Your experience of doing it this way is good. So still sorting for yourself but starting to feel a little bit bad. Possibly because you're trampling on your own morals, but not much. I mean, morals are a funny thing, aren't they? Some people are brought up that you should never say, I want, I want, never gets. 
Of course, you can reprogram that. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Pretty good. It's here. It's here. Mm -hmm. And that it, that's right there where you are. Mm -hmm. The invitation is to close your eyes for a moment, knowing you're surrounded by a bunch of wonderful souls. And for you, and I'm sure everyone else wants you to, get a felt sense of what that it is. That it, that on the inside is like what, Claire? And you don't need to tell anyone what that is, it's yours. It's getting a real embodied sense of this that can telepathically connect with your unconscious and your conscious mind. And then from this place you can reach out and extend yourself from a really good foundation. Because it's in the right place. In it. Is there anything else you'd like to explore? Is this a good place? This is a great place. This is a great place. <laughs> now, just because mm -hmm. I think it's useful, mm -hmm. there's an invite, it's not an order. I'd like you to find the complement of this place. The complement? The opposite. It might be the opposite of great, or it might be the opposite of that much good being that much bad and that much self being that much other. So it's probably yep. somewhere about there. Mm. This is an exploration. Mm. So right here in this place, that really is the opposite of great. And it's complement. Okay, love, yes, that, that looks much more symmetrical. So this is kind of pretty bad. It's a whole bunch of bad shit, my word. And there's also the, the accent really is on doing for others, so it's not so much about you anymore. It's really others. And your perception of this for you is it's bad. I'd just like you to get a sense of that too. Just for this idea that things, experiences, are co-defined by their opposite. And you really can't have one without the other. My invitation is, it's nice to be conscious about both of these consciously. What is the opposite experience of great? Okay. So it's nice to know you can experience terribly great and greatly terrible at the same time as you provide and do service in the ways that's right for you. Yes, and please go to the place you want to be. Back to lovely, great. Yes, and that's a perfect place to, to be. And please invite to get that sense of it's great to be here back fully and integrate that as a peace inside of you. Mm -hmm. mm. Is that a okay place to? Yeah, it's a great place. Lovely, thank you, Claire. Thank you very much. Yay! <laughs> if you would like to pick it up, it's yours. <clears throat> For example, move away, move towards some behaviour in the middle, and then you choose another meta program. So the invitation is to have your explorer to stand on the behaviour and decide which way they'd like to go first and explore in the meta program they chose. Having done that, back to the middle, explore the one you've chose. And then having done that, find another colour. Explore these. My experience is the actual addition of something spatial, physical to walk practically always 
gives an additional dimension as opposed to some sort of chair bound exploration process. You might even have people standing on chairs and laying on the floor. That's another layer you can put into it. And then find out, you know, like find a preferential spot. Might be here. Inside the books by Carlos Castaneda, it's the first one. It's a yaki way of life. You can get this on audio. This is something else that influenced Bandler and Grinder. They're made up stories, just like the Bible, just like Buddha. It's made up, okay? The point is there's, there's real worth in it. So what Don Juan does, who's this yaki sorcerer, an Indian sorcerer, a magician, he has Carlos um, in the very early, early part of his initiation. He, he scares the shit out of him, basically. Part of the idea as a teacher's job is to try and help a student to continually remove these layers of what they think of as reality until you kind of get a deeper sense of stuff. This is what he's doing. Read the books, they're lovely. But he has Carlos like crawl around the ground until he finds his spot. And Carlos crawls and he rolls and he spends hours doing it until he finds his spot. And it's his spot. He knows because he feels it. It's a genuine connection with something. So this is a parallel to finding your spot within these contexts within the context of the behavior this these things here are like set in a frame or a scope it's like saying okay this is the room that we're in we're not going outside of it for now you pick a behavior but the frame is within this room find your spot so it's setting up boundaries if you like And then our explorer finds their spot. This is it. It's great. It's a felt thing. That's what we're after. And then the invitation is go, go experience its opposite, which was terribly great and greatly terrible. And then the invitation is to finish where you really want to be. But it's an exploration. Nothing more, nothing less. Any questions about the process? Oh, and person C. Watch the process. Enjoy it. Learn from it. Be a distance enough away so you're not involved in it, as in a third perspective. And notice the different experiences expressions of body like there was the first one there was i found to me a lot more head down and da 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 this one was more head up this one was different again i'm just saying be be observant be aware of what's going on you don't need to make any meaning out of it i'm just saying be aware inside of the process because the process is it's just a means to an end it's what we're going to do with it Right, any questions yeah, again on exploration? It wasn't forcing Clem to any quadrant there, it was an invitation with a strong invitation to explore the, the opposite, the complement, which is nice. Do you know when Buddha got enlightened? It's a story, it didn't happen. He was sitting in one place under a tree that had a serpent on top of him, a snake, a cobra, and then he got it and he sat for seven days like, or something like that, he probably had a scratch. Uh, and then he got up and he walked to another spot and he looked back at that spot for seven days. How interesting. And then for another seven days, he walked between the two spots. For me, there's very strong links between perceptual positions and parts integration in this, and certainly pairs of opposites. It's a very old story. <sighs> How are you? Fine. Fine, thank you. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Great, fun, Dabby. Mm. Any other questions on the process? So I'm going to invite you here now to choose how long each exploration should take. Ten minutes? Fifteen minutes? Want to do it properly? 